All right, so today we are creating this amazing 3D physics animations for this nice little shoe website. And this will take us less than 10 minutes. It's super easy, super straightforward. So let's get started. All right, creating the base is important. So make sure you already have a website design or something like this design. I'll have a link to this design that I have created for you guys right in the description so you can duplicate this design and use it for your own project. So once we have something like this ready, the next step is to open up Spline. Spline is a really cool website to design 3d interactions animations and stuff right in your browser so you can either download it or just open it up in the browser and once this is done you'll have all your projects right here i will click on new file and now i will start creating our surfaces where things will land so the first surface is will be a cube however we will stretch out this cube just click on this cube little little cube on top and stretch it out like you would do on figma if i hold option on my keyboard or alt on your keyboard and drag around, I'll be able to see that this is a nice little surface uh, horizontally lying down. Now this is great, we want to create borders as well. So what we'll do is select the cube again and create some borders like this here. So what we'll be doing is we'll be stretching it out, just hold and drag, just like you would do in Figma. There's nothing crazy about it. Just hold Alt or Command on your keyboard and just drag it out like this. And what this will do is just duplicate it just like it was on the right. And I'll bring it down so that it's almost sticking to this. In fact, you can even intersect each other. Awesome. I can even add front and back borders, but for now this is enough. And I will select all three of these, right click and say group. Now I want to add another platform, which will act like the top of the text that we had in our mockup. We will create another cube just like this and We'll create something like this. Just by dragging on these little circles, you can adjust the height, the width and everything. And we're gonna do just that. So now I'm increasing the length, I'm increasing the width and everything. And this is a good platform. Now I will make sure I'll move with these arrows and I'll make sure that this is above this. Shadow is a good helper. So I'm just gonna place it like this and I'm gonna just raise it as much as possible. It will now just seem like this platform, like this. And I can even see it from top to get a better view as well. Now we will actually start importing the shoes and then we'll add the physics. So the first thing is go to a website called sketchfab.com. And here in the search bar, you just have to search for Nike. And after that, you have to click on this downloadable option. Now, once that is done, scroll down and how you can find free elements on this website is by looking at any of these designs or any of these 3D items without this dollar sign on top. So if I go down, there are these ones which are just, which just have this download 3D model on the top right here and I really like. Now, another thing that we have to make sure is whichever shoe that we're downloading, for example, we're gonna download this Pegasus model right here. Looks good, really nice. I have to make sure that the triangles here are not too many. So something like 200, 300, 000 triangles means it's very hip. And the next thing is when you download the 3D model, there should be an OBJ option right here. Download this from here and it will download as a zip file. Of course, you can even import things like G GLTF and two, three other options on Spline. However, OBJ I feel is the easiest and quickest to import. Once this has downloaded, now what you should be able to do is click on Nike Zoom Pegasus Zip open the zip file for some reason i'm not being able to record my folder right here but just know there's a folder inside that there is a folder called source and inside that there'll be another zip folder unzip whatever is needed and under this folder you'll have something called dash dash whatever name dot obj this is the file that you want to drag into spline so i'll open spline back up right here and i'll drag fin dot obj into this and as you can see this shoe has been imported successfully. Now I'll have to make sure that the shoe is kind of flying over above this rectangle. Hold Option or Alt on your keyboard and then start dragging. And with these arrows on top and the right and everything, you can literally bring it right here. Perfect. It'll need a little bit of practice, but it's good. Now I'll make sure that it's flying. There's a decent amount of distance. And apart from that, it's also on the edge of this. So now, now comes the fun part, the physics part. I will deselect everything first of all. And on the right, if I scroll down, I will see something like environment settings. 
And inside this, I have something called physics, no or yes. And I will turn it on to say yes. Inside this, gravity is minus 10. You can increase or decrease the gravity and cool stuff like that. Now I will click on this shoe. I'll scroll down to a section called physics. And inside physics, I'll have yes or no. So yes should be on. Children, if you have five, six elements which are grouped together, you can select whether it should be fused into one or separate. In this case, we'll select fuse. And body type will say dynamic. This is when it starts falling. It's not just something in the environment, it's actually falling. We can adjust everything, the bounce, the damping, the friction, gravitational scale, the weight, uh, the transition on which directions it should move, uh, and a lot more inside spine. That's awesome. Now, if I click on the play button right here, as you can see, it hits that cube on top and falls down. Now, depending on the 3D object that you get, that might be a few bugs right, right here. The shoe is acting weird, but for some other shoes, I wasn't facing this problem. So it could just be this one 3D model right here. I would love to show you more shoes, but that's something that it's more physical labor. So you just have to drag and drop, download and do all that good stuff. Now I will show you how you can export this into Figma easily. To export this into Figma, it's super easy. Go to export on the top right here. And under this, you will find a lot of different options. So public URL is something if you want to embed a design or anything into say a Webflow site or a HTML site or any site like that on an app, this is great. Otherwise, the best way that we're gonna to follow today is frame recording. So basically what it does, it plays the animation or the prototype in whatever way, it records the frames and it exports in your choice of formats. In this case, we want a nice little GIF without a BG color, of course. 30 frames per second, more than enough. Time, manual or fix, you can select how much time it is, but manual is it, it is. So whenever you are ready with things, just click on start at the bottom and click on record. And voila, once you have clicked on record, you will have whatever animations you created or 3D physics and you'll have this processing come on top. Might take half a minute to one minute to process it and it'll export. Once it has done that, all you need to do is from wherever you saved the GIF, just drag it in here. And as you can see, the GIF uh, started to play like this. However, I will now stretch around and crop it in such a way that the shoe really can't be viewed as such. Uh, see how the shoe falls to the ground. To improve this, you can always increase the, you can always change the setting of the GIF inside Figma. Pro tip, using a higher FPS is better. So try and go for a 60 FPS GIF, always. You can even work with shapes. You can work with other elements. I'll give some examples of physics stuff that Spline can do on screen, just so that you can see some ideas that you can implement. I will see you next time, same place, same time. Until next time, subscribe to the channel and take care. God bless.